So the ant teaches us to prepare for the future. We now turn our attention to another little but wise creature. The rock hyrax, or a seconym, or rock badger. You know the rock badger? We, we have an image of something that's ferocious, that's uh, dangerous. But you know, the rock badger is actually a cute little animal. They will kind of uh, remind you of a groundhog in appearance. They are small, with short little legs, a short tail, round ears, and a brown furry coat. They aren't aggressive, but rather shy. Edgar writes concerning this creature, the seponym, or rock badger, are not mighty people, yet they make their houses in their rocks. These animals distinctly know two things. Two things that we ought to know as well. And the first is this. They know their weakness. They realize they aren't big. They realize that they are small. Roughly a foot and a half in length, weighing only about eight pounds. That's smaller than uh, smaller than Domino. So that's just that's a pretty small dog. A uh, pretty small animal. They realize that they don't have much of a defense. They don't have sharp claws or razor sharp teeth. They don't have much strength. They realize they can't protect themselves. In their own power, they don't stand a chance against the predators, the cougars, the eagle, the wild dog, the wolf, the lion, the cobra. These little guys realize their weakness. They don't fool themselves thinking that they are invincible or invulnerable because they aren't. They realize their weakness so much so that when they go out and forage for food, they have sentries posted on higher cliffs to watch out for danger, which is a lesson in, a lesson in itself. We had to watch each other's back. Yes, these creatures know their weakness, but they know something far greater. They know where the security is found. And that is the crags and the rock in which they make their homes. These creatures make their homes in the holes in the rock directly under the cliffs. When a predator comes to attack, the rock badger will run into their home in the rock. If a vulture or an eagle wants to sweep down on that poor little rock badger, it has to knock down a mountain of rock to get to it. That's not going to happen. The rock is their defense. It is their strength. As long as he stays on or in the rock, they are safe from their enemies. If they decide to go off on the prairie, venture away from the rock, then it becomes vulnerable. It doesn't matter how courageous the little creature may think he is. It doesn't matter whether or not it's been taking bodybuilding lessons at the local gym. The most courageous rock badger falls victim to the smallest wolf or a lion when it wanders away from the rock. They are dead meat. They don't survive a chance. The rock is their defense and strength. And the rock badger knows this as they stay close to it. Yes, the rock badger knows his weakness and he knows where his security lies. Do we? Do we realize our weakness? Do we realize that we are no match against the predator of our soul, the devil? It's important to realize this quickly. You see, it's because the rock badger knows instinctively that he is no match against the predators out to destroy him, that he runs to the rock. If the rock badger thought that he was something he wasn't, if he thought he was tougher, and bigger than the predator, he would foolishly leave his protection and become much. <laughs> Friends, for us, it is a realization that we are weak that, we, that will drive us to the rock each and every time.
time, each and every time we find ourselves in trouble. So do we realize our weakness? But friends, better yet, do we realize where our security lies? I mean, this is one thing the devil doesn't want us to know. He would have us keep on believing that we are weak, that we are no match against him. For those who paralyze us in fear and help, uh, keep us bondage. But friends, we don't have to be scared of the predator. For we have a strong protection. Christ, the rock of ages. When the predator comes to attack us, to attempt, uh, to tempt us and try to destroy us, run to the rock. When trouble comes, run to the rock. Run to Christ. He is your protection. He is your deliverer. He is your strength. He is your sure defense in times of trouble. Our predator has to knock him over to get to us. And that's not going to happen. Mm. Oh, but better yet, abide with him your whole life. Mm. Notice that the rock badger makes the rock their home. They make them nice and comfy so they can live there. Friends, make the rock of ages your home. Dwell with him each and every day by fellowshipping with Him through reading His Word and prayer. Dwell with Him each day by doing His will. Make yourself comfortable with Him by knowing Him, by knowing Him personally. Abide with Him each step of the way and you will find that when troubles come, when dangers come, when the predator comes, you will be secure in him.